we're gonna make today similarly right I love I love that they added a purple in here too so this is um, Highland Heather purple right and then balmy blue and then some of that snowflake splendor designer series paper more of our glimmer paper my balmy blue glimmer paper with some more pretty snowflakes and then we've got the thank you snow much so let's go ahead and get started on this project okay let's see i'll grab some things oh we'll get our ribbon here do you want to see the ribbon a little bit more it's really stiff so i don't know about i think you could do this kind of a thing I don't know about tying it in a bow. I honestly haven't even tried it. Let's see. <laughs> yes, Monica, I'm a blue person too. Yes, so that blue glitter paper. Yes, it is beautiful. Yeah, anything blue. I agree. The blues and the greens. Maybe it makes you think of like water and summer. So here I am trying to make this bow. So you could, but can you see like already where I kind of pinched it? You're going to want to be gentle with it. It's maybe just not going to make a super tight bow. So I don't know about the, you could, you could make the bow. But I've been doing a lot with the strips like this where you just add a little strip on there. And that's beautiful too, right? It gives a nice little shimmery effect there. So, okay, let's see. Let's get our parts and pieces out here. Do, 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 do. Ooh, all right, I made a couple of snowflakes already. You guys want to see them though? So I thought in the interest of time, I would cut a few earlier so you didn't have to watch me cut quite so much. Yeah, it is Yeah, you're, it is a little tough, isn't it, Diana? But I, you're right, it will work. If you need it to be a bow, you can have it a bow. But aren't these beautiful? Look at the, oh, the beautiful crisp snowflakes there. And everyone is different, right? Love that too. Okay, so let's scoot. Here, what do we do? We'll put this thing maybe back underneath there a little bit. We'll bring that back into view a little bit later. How about that? Because I want you guys to be able to see what we are doing. So we're going to start with a Highland Heather uh, card base, okay? Or card stock. So our full sheet of Highland Heather card stock. We cut it in half at four and a quarter inches right along there. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall card, okay? And while I'm thinking about it, all of the dimensions, colors, product codes, everything that you need to know to make this project and the other one that I'll do next are gonna be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, so there's our nice crisp fold on our card. So if you want to get anything, um, I will have all those details over there. So it's easy ordering and links to order right on there too. Okay, so balmy blue cardstock, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then a piece of the snowflake splendor. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm. we're just gonna have so much fun. I'm not gonna be able to stop playing with this paper, I don't think. This piece measures two inches by five and one eighth inch. And then I just have some scraps of the balmy blue glimmer paper who doesn't love glimmer paper right ladies and then just a scrap of whisper white for our sentiment too okay so we've got that and that actually i'm going to tuck all of those over there so i can find them so we're going to do our stamping so our thank you snow much we're going to use our balmy blue ink the other most beautiful thing right about stamping up is all of our color coordination so of course i'm using my balmy blue ink on my Whisper White cardstock that also matches my Balmy Blue cardstock here and on my DSP as well as my Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper, right? Color coordination is key. So beautiful and easy with Stampin' Up. Okay, so we'll scoot that one. We're gonna grab our new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine here, okay? Get that in view. I think that looks like we're in a good spot there, right? Okay. So we are going to use, these are the Tasteful Label dies, which ladies, I'm telling you what, if you do not have these yet, I think I use them every single week. So this die is the one we're gonna use right here, but you can see, and I love that they're all different too. I think that's why I use them so much because I love, you know, when like the other, the stitch so sweetly that they're all kind of similar, um, but these are all different too. I, I love I love both. I love all labels, I guess, right? Okay, uh, where's the platform? What did I, I took it off, right, so that I could show you guys what I, oh, it's right here. I'm <laughs> like, where did it go? All right, so we've got one, two, three you need, right? You guys know this, right? The So we've got platform one, two, and three. We're going to stack those all up together. And then we're going to put our paper and our die. And then we're also going to um, do our um, snowflakes right now, too. So those are right here, Okay. I'm gonna grab my snowflake dies. I 
think we're using, yeah, we're using like the small and the medium. Let's get those right there. So this one we gotta line up, make sure it doesn't wiggle. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna go back and forth, sorry for the wiggle. Um, I want to make sure that I get a good cut on my snowflakes because there's quite a bit of detail there. But look at, so this one, do you see the little scallop and the stitching? Super cute, right? Okay, let's just get that right back in there. Okay, and then, and these, what I've found, ooh, look at that, it did pop right out. Sometimes they stay right in the paper. And then we just need to kind of poke out a couple of these little, I always forget my paper piercing tool, but those just kind of fall right out. So how about that, huh? Woo, look at the sparkle and the glimmer on that one. And then this one, so sometimes, oops, it didn't work. There, sometimes you have to do that. <laughs> and, then, and then it falls somewhere and you can't find it, so that's not so good either. Where did it go? I think it's inside. I think it's right in here. Ooh, there, oh my gosh, sorry. That's like a comedy of errors, then this thing falls off. Okay, so there's the other snowflake, ladies. Sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna flip this back down. We're gonna need that in a moment for our next one. But I think, are we ready to go ahead and start putting our card together? So what you're gonna find is kind of how um, really simple these cards are, but yet how beautiful they are, which I love, like, right? The simplicity and the beauty all at the same time. All right, so I got my stamp and seal. Are we in view? I think I've flung everything all over the place. So I think we're okay. Let's scoot that up there. Okay, so first step, we're gonna get our, get our adhesive rolling, our stamp and seal. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper just kind of peeking out around the edges of our balmy blue paper. Next step, we are gonna cut our strip of our Snowflake Splendor, the iridescent ribbon. <coughs> so I think I mentioned my allergies have kicked in a little bit. Kind of have my little scratchy throat. I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus here because I want really good adhesive on this very strong ribbon. Sorry, I am wiggling all over the place today, I feel like. Okay, so I'm gonna use that on both of those. So that'll help keep that ribbon down. And then we're gonna add just our regular stamp and seal. So you can see, I really alternate back and forth between using the stamp and seal and the stamp and seal plus, okay. So we've got those right there. Next, we are gonna add some dimensionals. I'm gonna use the minis, because I wanna put a few of them around. Because there's something for me about, like say for example, if I only had two and these dimensionals were both right there and they ended up right on the ribbon, then they don't really stick to anything. And that bugs me. I like it to be able to really kind of stick on to the card base. So I've got a better chance of these, at least a couple of them, right? I did take all those off, I think. Okay, so there we go. There's our, thank you. I can feel it sticking on the ribbon, but we've got good, it's got other coverage there too, okay? And then let's see, so I layered this one, the white, I put the bigger white, I put a smaller balmy blue on, and I liked having the points all going in the same direction as the other one, right? And then this one, we're gonna add some adhesive onto our balmy blue, bigger. And then again, the points all going in the same direction, kind of from the big snowflake and the little snowflake, okay? So we're just gonna lay that right on there. And then I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna add some adhesive. Okay, we'll put one maybe right about there and one right about there. And then last step we have to add, I've used so many of these, you guys, I'm almost out because I used them on my swaps um, and I've just been using them like crazy for other things too. So let's see, we're gonna use the iridescent. This is actually considered like the Knight of Navy. I think on this one I used the um, Balmy Blue. I'll show you the difference. Can you kind of see? 
Let's see if we get them in the right light. Actually, the bigger ones you might be able to see a little bit better. So these are balmy blue, the big and the little. And then these are calling Night of Navy, but there's so much iridescence in them too. So the big and the small Night of Navy, or I'm saying iridescent, right? But these are the blue adhesive back gems. These are my absolute favorite because I love the faceted, you know, they look like a rhinestone, but then they're pretty blues too. So I love these things. You're gonna you're gonna need those also, I believe. So what do you guys think? Do you love? Isn't that so pretty? So there's card number one. Look at all that shimmery, glittery, beautiful mess, right? So don't forget, ladies, you put your online order in and use this host code right here. You're going to get this project and the one I'm going to make in just a second. So let's